and a pleasant good Monday morning. It's October the 31st and also a happy Halloween. It's the uh, eve of All Saints Day. This is when children usually go out and dress up in costumes and go trick-or-treating, ask for candy, you know, with witches, ghosts, goblins, ghouls, uh, black cats, monsters. I mean, I used to do all that fun stuff when I was younger, but yes, this is uh, All Saints Day, then the Day of the Dead's coming up, and well, we have Monday Night Football between the Bengals and the uh, Browns. And then tonight it's game three of the World Series between the Phillies and the Astros with the series even at a game apiece. And yet the series shifts to Citizens Bank Park in Philadelphia where the Phillies are 5-0 and at home. So I guess Phillies are in their home field back, you know, so yep. Yep, Noah Syndergaard's gonna be pitching against Lance McCullers Jr. And let's go Phils, get a win. But yeah, World Series baseball doesn't happen on Halloween very often either, since it's so late in the season. But one of the best memorable games on Halloween happened in 2001 when, the, when Tino Martinez hit that game tying home run in the bottom of the ninth inning with two out. The Yankees were an out away from defeat. But then but then a few but then a little bit later Derek Jeter won it in the bottom of the tenth. And of course five years ago we had a World Series game at Dodger Stadium on Halloween, which was game six. I'm sure a lot of Dodger fans were dressed in costumes as well, but it was normal Dodger gear, I'm pretty sure. But we have one more day of this mild weather with temperatures in the high 70s today. It was 78 yesterday. Um, and then the big change is coming, is coming tomorrow. Big change in the weather tomorrow. It's gonna get cooler and it's gonna feel more like winter. Especially when we, later in the week when we have overnight lows in the 40s and highs only in the low to mid 60s. It's real, Real fall weather is kicking into full gear. And we are gonna have some scattered showers in some of the areas, and like in the mountains and deserts. And I don't think we're gonna get any precipitation here, but it's gonna feel much colder. Um, well, happy birthdays going out to Mike Napoli, Fred McGriff, uh, David DeLucci, uh, Kevin Gagne, and to the late John Candy. Yep, John Candy would have been 72 today. And um, yeah, and to Mike Gallego as well. And yes, um, it's also our last week of daylight savings time as well. And yes, we are tired of getting up in the dark, but the good news is that it gets a little dark a little bit later for the trick or treaters at least, you know because I think back in the days when we used to have standard time on Halloween, it got dark at five and it was kind of too early, you know, and, but yep. This is when kids grow up and, or kids go trick or treating. Yep, that used to be fun back in the day. And, and yes, go Phillies tonight. And uh, and yes, the average temperature in October was about 77 degrees. The average low was 61, and we only had and we had a little bit of rain in mid-October actually. But all in all, the weather has been great this October. The highest temperature was 93 degrees. The lowest temperature was 53 degrees. And yeah, it's going to be much cooler starting tomorrow as we say goodbye to October. And yes, this is the, toward the end of the baseball season. Lakers got their first win last night. Rams are struggling a little bit, but let's hope that the Rams can pick up the pace next week and Monday night football, a lot of stuff going on on this Halloween. Stay safe, amen.